Alrighty, so I wanted to have a tutorial about how to quickly export your textures out of Substance and get a perfect render in Arnold. Um, it's not going to be absolutely pixel perfect to what you're seeing in Painter because they're using different rendering softwares, but these are the steps that you will use. So first, if you baked mesh maps, if you have any baked mesh maps in here, you know, like normal, world space normal, all that good stuff, uh, you will need to file export mesh and apply triangulation because it goes through and triangulates every single face in its own method and uh, it bakes the normal information according to that so if you don't have the same triangulation your shading is going to be incorrect uh, also do that if you automatically generated uvs using substance painter um, but yeah so export that mesh and then go uh, open up a new Maya file and uh, we're just going to open that scene on Mac you have to file import FBX into a new scene rather than just opening um, but we're going to do that right there so next step assign a material to that character if you had multiple uh, UDIMs or materials in here you'll have to do a different setup for that a little bit um, particularly if you have different shaders on that uh, character occupying the same UV space, but I'm just going to assign AI standard to the entire character. So all of these are now sharing this same shader. We can just call this King Matt. Boom, there we go. Now we need to slot in our uh, textures, right? So to get the textures out of here, we need to go to File, Export Textures. We're going to use a different output template. We're going to be using AI standard. If you go to your output templates, you can see all the ones that are in here. You can see exactly which channels are plugging in where and how they're going to be used, right? So uh, next up, make sure you do output template and you do AI standard. Uh, and then put it in uh, a folder that you can find it again. I'm going to put mine in source images because if you're using a Maya project folder, always put your textures in source images somewhere because uh, it makes it easier to link up if you uh, go to a different computer. So I'm going to click export now. Boop. And there we go. So that's it. All right. Uh, next up for this, now we need to start forwarding these ports and connecting them to textures, right? So color. Click this little checkerboard and go to file and uh, click this little folder and then navigate to where that's going to be. It's going to be base color right there. Boom. Open that up. So if you press 6, you can see your shaded view. Um, this view this viewport for Maya is absolutely garbage. It's, it's like outdated by like 10 years now. So usually I just will double check base color. It's pretty much useless for any other... Um, viewing of textures. Um, color space, keep that as sRGB. Okay, so we have many more textures to put in here. I'm going to show you how to do that in the Hypershade. So go to Windows, Rendering Editor, Hypershade, and you'll see a list of every material in your scene. I'm going to click on King Matt, and we want to start connecting up a bunch of these different textures. So click this little button. That'll show the inputs and output of that node, of this uh, material node right here. Um, and now we need to connect a bunch of other stuff, right? So next up, roughness. Don't you dare put it into diffuse roughness. No, 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 no. We're doing specular roughness. So right here, where it says roughness, click that checkerboard, do file. And uh, right here, you can see it's the same view over here. Just click the folder and connect your roughness. Boom. There you go. Uh, one last detail about this. Color space, no, nah, no. Nah. That's, that's for any colored uh, image that you want absolute color accuracy with, right? This is a grayscale. This is n like roughness is not like a color image, right? So we're going to do raw. Color space raw to get absolute uh, accuracy there. Also, you can do alphas, luminance, if that alpha detail is packed with um, the same you know, channels is your RGB. I'm just going to connect the R though instead. Boom. So uh, you can now see that we're getting some of those different values in there. Um, very cool. Next up, let's connect metalness. So metalness, it's in the base right here. Base metalness. Do a file. Do image name. We're going to do metalness. Open that up. And raw. Boom. There you go. So that's what we're that's what we're connecting up. 
plug in the R channel into metalness, and there you go. So that's set up. Uh, last step is uh, let's click back on our main material here. Geometry bump mapping because we have a normal map as well. Uh, use as tangent space normals. Um, I'm going to connect up that file, uh, this normal right here. I'm just going to left click that and then raw. Boom. I've never had this render out properly, right? I've never had it render properly with, um, with this. So what I do instead is I press tab and I start typing normal. And I get this new node, AI normal map. This is that file, right? The normal file. I take the color and I put that into the input. Then I take the output value and plug that into normal camera. Boom. And then your shading is going to be more accurate. It's going to be actually accurate to what you're what you're seeing. Um, there we go. If you have emission, plug in the emission the same way. Uh, you won't be using color space raw. You won't be doing raw on that. You'll be doing sRGB for color accuracy there. Um, but yeah, there you go. That's that's the uh, that's the setup. And then let's look at our uh, character. Let's open up Arnold Render View first. I'm gonna get a Sky Dome light in there, and then in that color, I'm gonna connect a file. Let's just navigate to um, my downloads. I think I I downloaded a. Um, a environment in here yeah that looks great open that up boom so now it's gonna be lighting that with this let's open up Arnold render view let's press play boom there he is there's the guy alrighty and you can see that it's using that environment lighting to uh, go across the character and you can see my normal detail is correct, um, but yeah, there you go. So that's uh, that's how you that's how you connect up that shader. It's just specular roughness gets the roughness, set it to raw, plug in the R channel, uh, metalness gets the metalness texture raw, plug in the R channel, um, base color gets all the color, make sure it's sRGB, and then for normal it's set to raw and we put it into this normal map node and then plug that into the normal camera there you go i hope that was nice and enjoyable for you guys all right have a good one